you know, I started out really fit. I hit my peak where I was like skinny and fit and I had a fitness trainer. And then in my 40s, I tanked right down to, you know, my nutrition just totally tanked. Made bad choices, my, neglected myself is pretty much what it is. Hit some trauma in life, some major inflammation and stress and consistent. Decided, you know what, like it's all about perception of where I'm at right now. It's time for me to take responsibility. And then I decided in the midst of a bunch of chaos to go back to school and invest in myself and do all the stuff. You know, I used to work out. I was like consistent, but didn't see any change. So I have not worked out really. I mean, I'll go for walks and I'll take the dog for a walk and and stuff. But in terms of like actually like working out, I've kind of just put that on the back burner because I wasn't seeing change. My thing right now is turning 40 or I'm 41. I'll be 42 in January is food and my digestive health. So the whole results thing, seeing results, I'm starting to get over that, but I still wanna feel good with my nutrition. So I find it hard. I find it hard to prepare food for me, prepare food for my children, my husband, because I eat so different than them. That's the hardest thing is like, if I was on my own, I'd be fine, but I eat so different. And then the stuff's in my house, yeah. So I find the nutrition is the biggest battle. Yeah, and what to eat and hormones, balancing hormones and all that stuff. Yeah. It's just reflection, I feel, of where you want to be and, and, and identifying what's holding you back. For me, I had the excuses of stress and all the pathetic excuses, which if you live in that, you're going to live there forever. Yeah. There's always going to be an excuse. Yeah. Actually, what's been happening to me is um, I've been listening to my body. So when my hips are tight, when my glutes are tight and I don't, I'm low energy, I go do a Pilates workout and I'm like, like at first my head wants to say, oh, this isn't enough, I'm not gonna sweat. And then I leave that 20 minute Pilates and I'm like, wow, I feel good. And, or, and I took 10 minutes to stretch and I'm like, that's what my body needed. I listened to my body. My body didn't need another hard workout. My body needed to stretch. My body needed to roll. My body needed to walk. And I'm like, those are actually like getting older. That's working for me. do all those diets my husband and I he literally would not oh, eat so for five days wouldn't eat bread and then they'd lose like 10 but pounds but he'd still drink a beer and he literally the scale was down like nine oh, pounds and I like yeah. starve myself and I, and I gained four pounds I was like totally is, but it's honestly just like Josh can just think about losing That's weight yeah. and my even though he's yeah. 42 he can still just think about it whereas I'm like nope I can do but they don't all have the hormones no, and true. the other issues that we have As somebody in their mid 40s, what are the best workouts to do? Like, what is the best? Like, I started doing like the intermittent fasting, so like I don't eat like after 12. Um, and like, I do find like I do feel good, and I have seen some change. But like, what are some other things? Like, what are good foods to eat? Um, of course, like not indulging and stuff, but also for workout. Like, what is best for our bodies at this age? Coming soon on the Mom Shorts TV podcast, we will be interviewing another expert, this time about fitness, nutrition, and hormones over 40. Follow us today on Spotify.